guys, in this video we will see how we can create a simple pause button for our game and after that we will see how we can create a window that will open when the game is paused and how we can resume the game just by clicking anywhere at the screen. Ok, this example game that's running at the background is from the video about pet following. At this example we will use a texture button, so let's create it. Let's use the Godot icon as our pause button, just because why not? And we can change the position of our button to put it at the corner. Then we can mark this toggle mode option because we want our button to alternate between the pressed and not pressed state. And now let's add the script to manage everything. Now we go to our button and link the pressed signal to our script. And then we will just write a simple script that check if the tree is paused and if it's paused it will unpause it and if it's not paused it will pause it. Setting paused to true pauses everything like physics or inputs. Because of that if we run our example now we will be able to pause our game but we don't can unpause it. To change that, we just need to go back to our button and change the pause mode to process. So it will not inherit the paused state. And with just that, our button will work properly. I will put a color at the button, just to make it more visible. And now we can see it clearly when our game is paused or not. Now that we have a working pause button, we will see how we can create a window that will open when the game is paused and closes and unpauses the game if the player clicks anywhere at the screen. So to do that, let's create a scene that will be our window. This scene will be a user interface. There we will have a control node and inside it we will create a colorect node. This colorect node will be the background of our window. So let's just pick a color for it and set the size. And we can change the positioning. Now we can use a rich label text to write something at the window. So let's just write something here. Then let's select a font and change the font size. Then we can centralize the text and save our scene. After that we can create a script to manage our window. So we will use this input function to catch the input. This function catches all inputs, like mouse movement, right or left button pressed. But here, for this example, we just want to capture 
the left button. So we put a 1 here. The right button, for example, would be the number 2. Then we check if the game is paused, and if so, we unpause it and destroy the window. Now we can go back to our main scene and make the adjust to load our window. So, first we need to preload the window scene. Then we create a variable to hold the window instance later. Now we will change our script, because we just need to test if the game is not paused to open our window. And if it's not paused, we need to pause it. And now here, before we are pausing the game, we can create an instance of our window and add it to the scene. We need to get the parent and add it as a child of the parent, because we want this window to be a child of the node 2D and not of the button. Now let's test it. We can see it's already working. When we press the button, the window is created, and if we press the button in any area of our screen, the window is destroyed and the game is unpaused. We just need to set the positioning, because currently it's just added at a zero point. So now we can set the positioning of our window. And just to remember, the Node 2D derived classes use position for positioning, but the control derived classes use rect position. Here we could directly put a vector 2D with a hard-coded value, like 300, 300 or any value. But I will use this get viewport rect function to get the viewport rect, that are four points for the four corner positions of our screen. Then I use the size, because we don't need the four points of our viewport, we just need the size of it. And then we divide the size by two, because we want the center point. And this is the final result. We can pause our game, we get the screen, and if we click in any place at the screen, we unpause the game. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please consider subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. Thank you for watching, and bye.